Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Rachel and I do everything that has to do with beauty on my channel. Um, I hope that you guys will subscribe and make sure that you guys push that notification button down below so that you are notified of every time I upload um, a video. And also if you guys recreate any of my makeup looks, I would like and appreciate if you guys would go and tag me over on Instagram. I will have my um, Instagram name um, on either side of the board here up, up above and it will also be down in the description down below. Um, with furthermore, um, in today's video I am going to be doing a raspberry lemonade a summer vibe makeup look using ColourPop. And um, if you want to see how I get this makeup look, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I have already primed my eyelids and did my eyebrows off camera. Um, in today's video, or in today's tutorial, I am going to be doing um, a summer, a, I'm calling this a raspberry uh, lemonade summer vibe makeup look. And I'm going to be using the ColourPop palette. This is what it looks like. It's just a very nice, like, purpley, um, but yet summer, like, it just screams summer to me. So this is the palette I will be using. Um, so the first shade I am going to be going in with is, um, a mixture of this one and of this one here so those two mixed together and I'm going to be putting that right onto my crease and instead of bringing the eyeshadow down I'm going to be going up uh, just like flicking it that way and um, everything I use will be down in the description box um, if you're wanting to know the name of the palette or any anything else that I use everything will be down and listed down below for the next color I'm going to be going in with some of uh, this color here with a little bit of this one maybe, I'm not really sure yet. And I'm going to be going in and I'm going to actually be packing that color right onto the inner part of my lid. And I'm going to be going in with this Amorphe brush here. And then with that first brush that I went in with, I am going to go ahead and blend those two together. And I did not put any extra um, product on here as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is again going in with another flat brush. I'm going to be putting uh, the outer corner eyeshadow and with this right here which is a BH Cosmetics number no. 7 brush with a little bit of these two colors right here. And I'm going to be placing this right onto um, of this outer part right here. And 
And then again, going in with this brush here, I am going to go ahead and just blend out this top part. Just so and as well as going in with that first um, brush that I used, I'm going to go ahead and see um get these to blend in the middle. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of this out. Just like that. And then I'm going to go in with glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX glitter glue. I'm going to be going in with this brush here. And I'm just going to be putting this glitter glue right on the back of my hand. And then just putting it right in the inner corner. Two thousand years later. I'm gonna be going in with the Milani Rose Primer Prep and Hydrate um, Lightweight Base as my primer today. And this primer does smell like roses, so if you are somebody who does not like, um, like the smell of roses, um, this primer is not for you. Um, the smell is kind of strong, but once it's, um, like, once you put it onto your, like, melted into your skin um, it's not that strong anymore but um, the smell just it the smell does stay there um, the next thing I'm going to be going in with is some I'm just going to um, do some color correcting and I am going in with a pixie by Petra um, color correction and brightening peach And I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. concealer brush. Looks like this. And I'm going to be putting it around my nose, under my eyes, just to conceal any darkness I have. Upper lip. Sides of my lips. A little bit of my chin area. As well. Um, so after that, I am going to go ahead and go in with the foundation. Um, today's, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Stick Foundation in Warm Beige. Um, I did get somewhat of a tan, so hopefully um, this foundation still matches, but if not, we will make it work. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild um, sponge. I'm going to just blend out that foundation.
and uh, for concealer, I am going in with the CoverGirl True Blend in Warm Beige. That's what it looks like. And I am going to let the concealer sit there for about a few minutes um, before I go in. Um, and yeah. And to set. Um, my under eyes, I am going in with this e.l.f. setting powder. I'm just going in with my same um, sponge to set. Ooh, I'm dry. And then to set the rest of my face, I am going to go in with a, the Peach Perfect Too Faced um, powder. This is one of my one of my favorites. Um, uh, powder to set the face. And it does taste pretty good. I am always making a mess with powder. Always. Okay. So, so the next thing I am going to go ahead and do is I am going to go ahead and do bronzer and I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Sunstalker Invasion Gal. And this is what it looks like. Um, it is a more deeper, just because, you know, my skin is pretty deep right now. And I'm going to be going in uh, with this BH on number four brush. For highlight, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild FM Highlighter in Halo Effect. And I'm going to be going in with the Pro Highlighter from Sephora. This is what that highlighter looks like. I 
And then I'm like, going in with my beauty blender, I'm just gonna mold that right into the skin to kind of blend. And of course, my cupid's bow. And to finish up a lower lash line with this pencil brush, and I'm going to be picking up some of that um, this color here and putting that in the inner corner first. And then I'm just going to clean that brush off. And I'm going to be going in with this color here and putting that on the other half of the waterline. And then going in with this brush here, which is a Morphe brush. I'm just going to be blending and dragging that down. And then with the same with this highlighter, I'm going to be using it for my inner corner. I'm going to go in with this brush here. I'm just going to be picking some up. Bring that right into the inner corner. And then with this brush here, I'm just going to go and blend into that top color. So that it all kind of looks the same. And um, for the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and tight line both upper and lower lash line with the Urban Decay Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On Eye Pencil and Perversion. And then for lips, I am going to be going in with um, lining my lips with a NYX lip liner. Um, pencil and nutmeg. And then to fill that in, um, I'm going to be going in with a NYX um, satin lipstick and silk. And this is what it looks like. And 
And then to top that off with gloss, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline New York Elliptor Gloss in Amber, which looks like this. And then, oh. and then, of course, to set the whole entire face, I'm going to be going in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, which looks like this. Um, and there is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this um, makeup tutorial with me. Um, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, guys.